We do research into a disease called schistosomiasis, and this is a really devastating disease. The symptoms that you see are little boys and little girls uh, peeing blood red urine. They start developing lots of problems like stunted growth and anemia. They also, uh, later on in life, uh, could develop things like bladder cancer, kidney failure. The snails that transmit the disease live in the, in the water body. The parasite comes out of the snail, it will swim around in the water and it will find the human that is swimming in the lake and it will burrow through the skin. In Zanzibar when we were there, the group at the museum started to observe something interesting happening. It was a bit of a detective story to sort of work out, well, why, why is it occurring in the north part of the island, but it's not occurring down in the south? The answer was actually in the snails. Collecting the snails in the north part of the island and looking at them and collecting snails in the south part of the island looking at them. You could see that maybe there was some differences, but it was very, very, very difficult to tell. When you start doing like taxonomy on them and really going into the detail, you notice that in fact they were actually two different species. One of the species, the one that was in the south part of the island, did not transmit schistosomiasis, whereas in the one that's in the north part of the island does transmit schistosomiasis. We're treating people in areas where they're, we're finding lots of infections, but we're also targeting the snails using a very safe um, molluscicide. You know that you're really trying to wipe out the disease and that community will then benefit from that.